nobody knows anything. So said legendary screenwriter William Goldman, who was talking about the movie business and how incredibly difficult it is to predict hits. That's why we end up with films like reimagined Robin Hood. Really inspiring. Thanks. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters, both absolute stinkers. Damn right. In the movie game, predicting blockbusters is more art than science. Tech company Synalytics thinks it's cracked the cash-creating cinematic code. It claims its AI can help predict a movie's success at the box office before it goes into production. I think when you say you know, AI making decisions about film, um, people get a bit edgy because they start thinking about robot directors or computers making artistic decisions. And that's not what's really happening here. It's very much about the business side of the film industry. I caught up with Synalytics CEO at the company's Hollywood office. Up here we have uh, an example movie, Detective Pikachu. Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god, you can understand me! So very quickly, you know, you can add a project, just enter basic information, you know, okay. log down a synopsis. Looks like the kind of thing that you might see on IMDb. That's your project, what's the estimated budget, what's the rating, you know, the genre, the keywords. Mm -hmm. So all these factors are very important because they kind of determine how valuable the project is. Okay. And from there we build different tools that you can use to evaluate that film now. Uh, Detective Pikachu's voice, of course, Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. And so he could also run and compare Ryan to different potential comedians or comedy actors that might be suitable for that role. Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Using some of the system's tools, we can play a movie version of fantasy football, changing around elements like the casting. Depending on the ingredients we provide it with, the system predicts the chances of financial success. Let's try somebody who's a big name at the moment and would mm -hmm. probably be all right for this film. Uh, so, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay, let's go and put Dwayne in here. Press the button. And now the system, otherwise everything stays the same, will recalculate. And as you can see, it's it, be more it predicts there's more revenue. Are we in hell? I knew it. Oh my God. Let's recast with Dame Judi Dench. Oh, it drops quite a bit. I haven't seen you before, have I? So all of your data is effectively based on things that have already Correct. happened. Mm -hmm. But what happens when it comes to the wildcard movies? Okay. Something that comes completely out of nowhere that nobody could have predicted and, and you know, caught everybody by surprise. What happens in those circumstances? They still call people by surprise. <laughs> outliers are outliers. They're called outliers because they don't happen very often, yeah. right? It's like, you know, 5%, 3% of these of movies actually are part of that group of outliers that everybody keeps talking about, but in reality, they're actually a very slim minority. Synalytics are adamant humans are still in the mix and that its software is an additional assistive tool for movie moguls. This is based on hard numbers. This is the, you know, the, the business side of the, yep. the industry. What about the scripts? What about, is, is there anything out there that will, that will tell you whether a script is good or not? The I don't script. think there's anything out there that can tell you if the script is good, especially not qualitatively good, because I, right now, you know, this AI... Is that machines aren't, aren't good AI, at doing. Exactly. AI cannot understand whether a script is particularly good. The company's recently penned a deal with Warner Brothers, but the studio insists the machine learning software will be used in the marketing and distribution side of things. As far as Hollywood studios are concerned, humans remain in the picture. For now. We're going to do this, you and me.